6 in the a.m. Oh, Lord. And I'm leaving work. So this is going to be Ian's graduation vlogs. Uh, I'm going to back to Tuskegee for Ian's graduation. And then I'm going to spend the last few days in Atlanta hanging out with his family and my family and just enjoying hopefully some good weather. I made it. I've been up since four o'clock yesterday. I'm going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has their stuff. Look at my baby getting ready for his baccalaureate service. Uh, Ian, where so. your you put on I had all my on. Ooh, wow. What? What? Too much sauce, man. Oh my goodness. And then everything coordinated. Look at my man got a hood, got the lavender, the color coordination. Hey, Mr. Ames, how you doing? Good. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you in a second. All right. Mm, go ahead. Let me watch you walk away. Ooh, yeah. And what God has for you is going to be for you. Amen. Yeah. Jeremiah said, I know the plan that I have. Hey y'all, we are out here taking Ian's graduation pictures. Yes, the day before graduation. We finished all of his pictures with no, I'm over here on the camera too. Did you close the door? No, because I'm not done? done. So then finish what you're no. doing. Watch out, oh my God. We're trying to take his Greek pictures at the Rock. This is Booker T. Washington's house. If you guys have ever visited Tuskegee University, it is a museum, a historic site on campus. It is called the Oaks. If you ever want to visit, shameless plug. But we're trying to take his pictures on his plot right now. And then we will go to the football field, I think. I missed this. I didn't realize how much I missed being at Tuskegee till now, seeing all the people. Like graduation is really a big deal here. We have so many different traditions, different departmental things, different ceremonies, because it's like you really made it. You accomplished something that many people of our race and our gender and our status do not achieve. And during the baccalaureate service, the preacher talked about, you know, making sure you remember the people who helped you get there even though your grandmama didn't know geometry and trigonometry she knew how to pray for you even though your mom and dad might not be able to help you with you know your chemistry classes they knew how to write those checks for you hey you talking about the preacher from this morning uh-huh oh that oh sorry excuse my language that moved me and normally people don't people that talk a lot don't really move me honestly it's weird when it comes to preachers and things like that, nothing really hits me like it used to when I was younger. Mm -hmm. But hearing that, I was like, that is the truth. Mm -hmm. And my grandma, she's, you know, she's from Haiti. So it's like, she doesn't know the American culture, mm -hmm. but it's beautiful what he was talking about. I wish he was our commencement speech. Like, Honestly, oh, wow. that was a really good speech. <laughs> it was, was way better than mine last year. He was good. But he definitely spoke some truth to power and he definitely talked about how now we have to be those people for someone else because like we said you know our parents and our grandparents might not have the academic side of things but now we do and we'll have you know another tool under our belt to give to the next generation our culture you see the rap game has changed you see all of this yeah. you see young thugs and all of this good stuff whatever it doesn't matter but you also go to the places where you see men in suits women in queen dresses and you know, they're not just doing it for, they're not doing it oh for IG and for all this. They're actually doing it because they're thriving. 
Right, you but know, the reason I say at HBCU specifically is because mm-hmm. where else are you going to see three, four thousand black people graduating, running businesses while graduating, supporting their family, starting their family? Like, you know how many people are going to walk the stage tomorrow that have had a child while in college? It's like things like that. That's what I find so beautiful. And that's why I say you come to HBCU to find that because nowhere else will you find that in this volume. So when people say, you know, black people need to do better or that our culture is going backwards or blase 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 i say that you haven't visited an hbcu because you step here and you feel so empowered and you feel so proud like even right here a mom is taking her graduation pictures with her child like when when else do you see that but on that note we're about to take some more of his graduation pictures at the rock yeah. Well, my eyes look. I'm not gonna flip. My eyes look good in this camera. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Well, let's let let's let the people go. Bye. Let my people go. I'm getting gray hairs. You giving me gray hairs. Yeah.